everybody and today I am back with mixed daily training let's have fun and let's go today I am all right uh, boom 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 bam boom okay what's up everybody how was the start of the week oh and I got an opponent immediately and plans here must have puff Morris it's from Germany hello good luck I've played him five years ago in Ult Elite Bullet and, and also five years ago in Elite Super Blitz. Interesting. Oh, he's streaming as well. Nice. Hi, Karma. What is up? Oh, somebody has an interesting nickname. Just enjoy chess. Huh. Nice. Hey, what's up, Pookie? How are you doing? Yeah, so usually stockfish begs to take, but yeah, we did one against Zepo, yeah, and I, that was very good news. Yeah, it's a German streamer, yeah. This is some great news, Pookie, indeed. I know that's an inaccuracy, but still. Computer, yeah. Oh, he actually goes for the refute mm, bishop f6 stream right now yeah 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 I'm on spurs d6 Joan bubble, okay. Uh, let's go here. If F or I will have bishop c4, I think. Also, b5 can be an idea to then trade the bishops off. Did I post there? Nope, I haven't. Okay. Okay. Already 15 euros. Welcome, everybody. Hopefully, you're doing well. F4, bishop c4. Let's go for it, I think it's okay. Hi Shark Coco, what's up? Both streams is always really interesting, yeah that's true. This is pretty nice. It's a viewer. I mean, I'm notified on Discord, so I don't know, Josef. <laughs> you somehow never manage to get on the raids. You never get notification. That's quite weird. So I always notified on Discord. Nice, B5. He's 
on set five and then like let each five bits sync. Um. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I think this f five knight e five knight h five queen h four f six knight g four thirteen the rook and the knight should be quite a nice line. Hey Nakin, what's up? How are you doing? Yeah, C3. No, but I notified Discord before, like, one and a half hours before the stream even starts. So... You shouldn't miss that, I think. So at least I don't have any favorite shorts. Uh, shorts. Hi, Dr. Capablanca, what's up? No, no, I don't have any favorite shorts. Sometimes, sometimes I'm in the mood for one, sometimes I'm in the mood for other one. I don't have any favorites at all. I'll return with my knight. Not really sure if it's the best decision, but so F5 won't be without tempo. Thank you, Dr. Capablanca. Thank you. I'm doing good, Joseph. What about you? Lady 7, I think. Knight on d7 is better than front g6. Queen d5, I don't know, but I think I should have something. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know what's up. What are we doing, everyone? your potion baby <laughs> hopefully one day I will so I'm not sure if it will be soon because I still need three norms and rating is gonna be challenging but yeah here I am Slava uh, I'll try <laughs> GM, yeah but first time then Gia maybe We'll see, we'll see. And this... Yeah, Pookie, you time to open in this team quite well today. So you are in time for a double streamer game. Let's go here. If queen c7, I want to go knight f6. If rook a6, I thought just taken and queen bc. So it's a 
in an interesting position to say the least. Uh, we'll see what will happen. A little bit. <coughs> <coughs> Try to win by position yourself. We'll see. <laughs> he still has five minutes almost, so it's gonna be hard to flag him. Oh, he takes. Why? When I queen c7, like a five? Which one? But first of all, I just have queen c4. I think, right? A queen c4 protecting both pawns. I'm still really not sure uh, why he played rook a6. Thank you so so much for the follow. Psinder best. Enjoy staying here and have fun. How are you doing? Bishop d4. <clears throat> Rook beat queen somewhere. Rook beat queen somewhere. Queen e4. Uh, takes, takes. Uh, it can be interesting to be honest. Let's go for it. Yeah, yeah, I saw it, I saw it, Cinder. Oh, I don't have queen e4. Uh, okay, knight c6, this, 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 it doesn't work as well. Yeah, yeah, I know. Queen c6, though. Push the queen away somewhere to a2 or somewhere there, just away from my camp. Thank you so much for another follow. M that HM18. Thank you, thank you guys for the follows and just stay here on the channel and have fun. This if queen b3 is what knight c5 is a nice idea. B4, where? B4 here? I mean, sure. Not a bad move, but I think he has queen e4 or something. But yeah, it was fine. Uh, is h6? It is. I am that. How are you doing? It is, it is. It's totally journal. I'm gonna think about it. Thanks for letting me know. I'm gonna consider it. How are you doing? What's up? Let's go here, my idea may be f6. If f5, f6. e5, okay. Yeah, he has a bishop open in the center, is good for him. Um, let's go knight b3. I'm gonna trade this bishop off. Because then if we trade, eh, I think it should be okay. I think I should equalize at least. Okay, he noticed. He noticed it. He noticed it. Mm. Hi, I'm Zed. I said you hi like three times. How are you doing? No need to DM me. What's up? Yeah, 
can see me scan master and f fm is feed the master <laughs> but yeah if you say it for fun then fun master Seriously, it's an feeder master. Hmm. Let's play F6. I know Tutli Junior likes H6, uh, but F6 here is, I think, a bit. Whoa, we have 52 viewers. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, Knight of 5. Thank you here for another follow guys. Thank you everybody for following today. You can 996 we have 56 viewers. Welcome everybody. Let's <laughs> play F6 been fine go through. The web path. Okay. Thanks to him. Ah yeah, okay. I'm gonna shout him out later. Thanks uh, t uh, t uh, tell thanks to him. I'm gonna shout him out after the game. Oh wait, don't I win a pawn? Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. The guys, please say thanks to Puff. I'm gonna shout him after the game. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> Good to have mods. Yeah guys, go check him out, he's also streaming. Should have a good time there. Say hi from here. I really shouldn't think that much. And I know that. Uh, but I keep thinking. Because <laughs> I don't really see a move. I really sort for too much. Um, in four? Maybe <laughs> not denying, maybe I missed it. In C five. Maybe we missed it, I'm not sure. I get rookie six. I doesn't go for rookie six. Let's go c five. G five. Okay, the time is pretty low for both of us. Ah, he gets this. I missed it. He's gonna four, he thought he just went upon uh, rookie one.
Yeah, that's a theoretically drawn position, but <laughs> I have thought you. But it was Rimkin, was Puff Morris. It's from Germany, good game. Uh, yeah. Sure, it wasn't the cleanest way to win. I'm pretty sure I should have been winning somewhere here, though. Uh, maybe not. I'm really not sure. It was very complex. Yeah, I was winning. Series so advantage had Rook G1. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but like, in, while pre moving, it's pretty relatively hard to find the best moves. Uh, where. Some people were saying mating 4. Was there any mating 4? No, there was no mating 4, guys. What do you mean mating 4? No, I didn't. No, I haven't. Because. Rook a1, queen b6, first the rook is protected, second yes, knight d4. Joke, joke, okay, I really thought I missed it. <laughs> I won, Yosef. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, I got worse position out of the open, but then rook a6 was a mistake. Then I equalized. Then it was completely equal. Then in time trouble, he started blundering. I got a better position, but then I didn't manage to win it, but then I flagged him. <laughs> so it was a crazy game. Whew, did you? Yeah, but guys, once again, go, uh, wait, uh, go check a path out once again. Yeah, it was a draw by a flag team, guys, guys, go, oh, no, wait, uh, wait, is it him or not him? Wait, did I mess up? Thank you for the follow. Chess guy, thank you so much for the radio party 51. Do you stay here in the fun? Uh, this is the wrong channel. Oops. Thank you so much. Welcome, Rangers. How was the stream? Uh, yeah, uh, shout out, path. Uh, Path Mori thinks okay. Guys, go check him out. That's the guy I played uh, right. Uh, I was playing right now, so go check him out. Have fun there. Thank you, one the chess guy for the raid. How are you doing? Yeah, go check him out as well. Thank you, thank you for the raid. I was the well welcome raiders. But aside the end game blunders, I played pretty well, I think. Okay, thank you for the follow. The is this Onyx? Thank you! And you can 9 and 6. I still uh, told him thanks, but yeah, the Onyx and thank you. Just a guy for the raid. Queen is really looks tempting. Okay, now where do we move my knight? F5? C4? I'm not sure. It's very interesting. Oh, D4 even. Huh! D4, rook C7. Hi, Scorelli, what's up? Ambulance! Slash, uh, slash shout out, okay. I'm from Ukraine, I'm in Poland. Thank God this night is loud in Hamburg. Otherwise, guys, you, you would literally on the stream see my ears uh, drop off me and then walk to the camera and shut the stream down. <laughs> no, just kidding. Thank you for the follow wanted for Blunder. Just in a fun. Okay, it wasn't that bad, but it is pretty loud in Germany, the ambulances. Okay, it was a pending puzzle at the end of the day. But everybody, hope you, hopefully you're doing fantastic. Hopefully you are doing fantastic, everybody. Getting closer, nice, nice, nice. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see. So I can take the rook. Oopsie, I can take the rook. He goes skinny too. Then. I'm not sure. Perhaps I check him bishop g4, and then after fc, go knight c6, queen e8, knight d4, if king is 3 queen e1, and if queen f2, something. Do over here, nice, 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 money spurs, pretty nice. Uh, okay, I should take, that's for sure. I would imagine it's bishop g4, knight c6. Nice, Cinder. Hi, just papercraft, how are you doing? You had a gifted sub, I think, yesterday, didn't you? I'm pretty sure, yesterday or day before yesterday. Any help with tactics? I mean, uh, sure, it would be nice, some suggestions, but please don't use engines. Uh, if you are if you are willing to help, don't use engines. I'm doing great as well. I'm doing great, Chess Papercraft, thank you. GG for 39, thank you, thank you. But yeah, 
You wanna help? Uh, don't use engines. Just wanna solve puzzles uh, with humans. <sighs> okay, let's see. So, bishop g4. There is f3. We go knight c6. He takes a8. Knight d4, king f2. And queen b2. King f1, queen c1, king f2, queen d2. If king g3, I think knight f5, it should be winning. Because king f1, knight f5 as well. Or not? I'm not sure. Is bishop knight 6? Yeah, I also think so. Oh, my world ranking is terrible. <laughs> my world ranking is like 10,000 or something. Actually, 4,831, so quite quite bad. Uh, maybe queen b2 first. But then bishop d4 is without tempo, so it'll... No! Okay, this puzzle was 3,900. That is the excuse why I failed it. Uh, king h5, and then bishop d4, and I win. And king... Oh! Oh, 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 I get king h5, and then I get king h6. But okay, what's it? Top 5,000, yeah. But there are more than 4,800 in your age group. Uh, age group. I don't know. Let me check. He doesn't even know where. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the following. Just the end of one. Milad 6513 wanted for the blunder. I'm, I, I forgot how to check it. Home. I don't know. It's also a puzzle. Bishop g5, queen g6. Hey, bishop g5, queen g6. Knight h4, queen h5, bishop e2, bishop g4, f3. And then he gets h6. And he is somewhat slow, so. Yeah, so the idea of knight f5, right? Because if I would go f3, he would get h6. Look at that. And now if I take the bishop, he takes uh, the bishop as well. And then queen trait, and then I don't get any extra material. But after knight f5, my threat is knight g7, and then four king his king and his queen. And say if he goes king f8, then I get knight g3. He has to move the queen, I get the bishop, and I'm winning. No, Cinder! Be careful before we're supposed to link or write in chess.com or leeches the dark. Move bot. Mopo thinks Leeches.org and Chesscom are a link, so be careful. Uh, ratings, I think. Advanced search. 2010 till 2019. Are they are right here? Here, uh, min age four, no three year olds with video rating, quite bad. Eh, dating ranking. Oh gosh, I'm 29, it's okay. Yeah, I'm 29, cynically, nope, not at all. Juniors, yeah. Yeah, but my reach is very low as well, 29s. I had a bad tournament, otherwise I was like 15s, but yeah, with one bad tournament full. Now I'm quite a bit, but okay, it's fine, it's chess. Um, but yeah, slowly trying to improve, and then hopefully slowly one day we'll be higher than 29s. Yeah, thanks. But in U13, I am 29, so yeah. Okay, so let's see. That's a crazy puzzle. Weird material imbalance. I have a rook, but he has two pieces. Yeah, Karmar. Thanks. Uh, but the, I also have a very strong pawn on b2. Uh, so I'm thinking about queen b6. I'm thinking about rook 8 and then rook a, 
and then uh, and then queen h and then g5 and then queen but that's a lot of quiet moves in one puzzle that's a lot of moves in uh, quiet moves in one puzzle so for, okay rook h or g5 somewhat quiet and the queen g7 with a sort of queen h7 nice puzzle I don't think there is any DM ranking, unfortunately, to the totally journal. Okay. Pass rating was 3700. Yeah, that is true. It's very good for calculation, but uh, with intu just intuition, it's very, very hard to solve the puzzle. Because it is pretty, very deep. Uh, okay, so queen h1, knight f3. Oh my goodness, help. Ah, yeah, knight of three. Bishop b5. Easy threat to then win my queen with check. Say a castle, he gets queen c2. Currently, there is one player listed. Hi, <laughs> Wendy, what's up? Long time no see. So, queen h1, knight of three. Oh, yeah. Can I draw arrows? Hold on. Knight of three, castles, queen c2. Uh, bishop b4, bishop d2, my queen is stuck as well. Though I have bishop f3, bishop h1. I'm not sure if that's good. But it feels like I should take the rook at least. Ninety-six. Yeah, that is a nice puzzle. Who's your favorite player? Magnus and Dalahine. Queen e4, here, queen h1, knight f6, d of ninety-six. Is that he doesn't have bishop b5 is check now. And say if he goes queen c2, I get either bishop d4 or knight e5. And then my queen is free and then I'm doing good. Also, great move is bishop d4. The idea is if he takes cd, I sack my queen. And knight d4 and I win the queen back and I'm winning. So knight e6 is pretty much game over. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Totally journal exposed me. A6? I'm not sure guys, what do you think about A6? Uh, the idea is if knight moves, I, I get queen d4 and queen c4. A6, yeah, I'm actually considering A6 on the journal. It may be your move. It may be your move. A6, but after A6, there is bishop d3, which I'm a little concerned. Do you win this puzzle? I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Chill, chill, chill. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still very deep in thoughts. Uh, yeah, nice. Me too, Pusham. Me too. I also really love the playstyle of the one and only BM. I think rook a8 though is the correct move. I'm sorry, it's totally journal. It was an a6. <laughs> it really felt like it though. It really felt like it. <laughs> but a6 runs into bishop d3 and then yeah, he's fine-ish. One day. <laughs> yeah, one day, one day. It will be h6. But now I think it may be h6 though, totally juvenile. Don't get your hopes up too high though, because I'm not sure. Um, but maybe, maybe. h6 may be correct. And if. Nice current name. What's your law? Thank you so much for the follow! Paul Charles Morphy47. Hi, how are you doing? Enjoy stay here. So do I include knight d3 or do I just play h6? So if I go h6, e5, h7, boom, 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 I'm winning. So this g5, king here, 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 here. It's 
it's h6 king h5 france and two mating one so it's here hey john 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 it finished this 40 nice this is john it was h6 it was h6 brilliancy yeah 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 and now king g2 and a5 a b king f2 knight d5 oh that was a nice puzzle what can i say My peak, let's go. My peak was, I think, 38, 74 or something. I peaked, let's go. 38, 76. Row 2, 3900. So that's a nice study. H6, this is this. The idea of A5, if he moves the knight, there is 95 mate. And this is, I get 95. And then if king e4, I get b7. That's a nice puzzle. Suffered so 0, 75 on my YouTube, my spot. Okay. All right. Thanks, the Sonics. Thank you. Hope you hope you'll have fun. Now let's play blindfolded. Let's actually not forget to turn on the blindfold like I did last time. Uh, blindfold chess. Boom, boom. Uh, level seven. Let's go. But yeah, twenty three forty is very nice. Corelli, congrats. Ninety six. Oh, he goes for scotch with Zach, yeah. I hope somebody understood the explanation of the sweet under treated puzzle. Why aren't you going for knight c3 though? Sure, what do I include and what I don't include? <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Jolly Joker STV, and just stay here on the channel and have fun. Hope you'll have a nice day. Ayahi Castles. This may be problematic. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Thanks. Thanks, Leslie Journal, gonna help a lot. Thank you, thank you. Should be 7 CD 95, I think. Should be fine. Unfollowed, why? <laughs> Did you just wanna. No, but if you unfollowed, then you couldn't write message in the chat. But if you wrote message in the chat, then you are still followed. I did use all the pieces. They were made of chocolate. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Hope you'll find somebody that suits you well. Jolly Jokers, take care. Ooh, queen e4, I cannot take us of queen c6. Nice, let's castle. <laughs> yeah, thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, Jolie. How are you doing? Okay, let's play queen d5. Oh! Plan of bishop g6. Should have bishop d5, it would have been fine, I think. Uh, though maybe I'm not too bad still. Bishop d5, queen d4, queen h6. Ah, he gets bishop h6 first, so what? h3? Hmm. It's still quite crazy. Queen g7, I think you're gonna go for bishop e4 and then trade the bishops. Bishop d6? Bishop g6? Bishop d6? I mean, it looks like it's a nice try. Let's try it. <laughs> Q4. 
Queen g7. Idea like bishop g3, perhaps. Nope. I'm not a programmer, so I don't know. I think it just thinks how to crush you the fastest way. It just thinks about the fastest way to crush you and and laugh at you. <laughs> um, and I think it's doing quite well, at least in this game. Uh, 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 uh. They just crush, exactly, Karmar. They don't think, they just crush you. I think I'm somewhat desperate, so I'm gonna go for a 5. Oh, rookie one. And they are usually cruel. Uh, rookie 8. No, but I completely blundered bishop g6. What's he doing? <laughs> And I hate when they give you like some false hopes. You feel like you have drawn your pocket already, but then you understand that he was just kidding. Not sure if that was good to give the file away. <laughs> oh, nice one, Tothy Journal. Twenty six. Though rookie eight, rookie ah rookie eight, bishop f five, rookie three. No, this should be winning. So rookie eight, queen e eight, queen g five, queen g six, queen d eight, king of seven. I think it's okay. And if queen f five, I take bishop f five. I take. So if I'm not miscalculating, which can be extremely likely, I think rookie eight and I'm fine. But I'm not sure. Because he said I'm most likely miscalculated somewhere. Or did I? <laughs> Where is skin H2? A weird move to be honest. Uh, takes. It still looks very, very uncomfortable to play this position to be honest. Let's play, I don't know. Or to play even. I don't know, be greedy. Should be four perhaps, be safe. So if they have be greedy, be safe. Or play a five. <laughs> I've learned a pawn. Here. Queen G7? He takes... What's he doing? Oh, where is the catch? Why is he trading the queens? Be safely greedy. Also very, very good approach as well to the journal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then B3. It felt like he could have won much easier though. I know bishop e6. They still think he has better, b b relatively big advantage. Uh, because my pawns are weak and I already lost one. Or maybe I didn't. Yeah, I did. Mm. Let's go bishop e5. Ah, oh, yeah, I lost one. Um, tactical sacrifice. <clears throat> Not safely greedy, that is bad for him. Should it should be bad for him. And you are being greedy and not safe. This may end up being very bad. 
And let's go guinea six. A5, yeah. Mm -hmm. Brr, I'm not really sure what to do here. Mm -mm -mm. No, C3, bishop, C4. Yeah, but I think I'm lost here. It felt fine. Uh, but then it suddenly stopped feeling fine. Then I lost. C6, let's at least try. Uh, bishop, D5. He'll have sponge bomb, I guess. Takes, takes. B6, bishop, B8. Eat this, this. Here. E yeah, I need to stop. Ah, oh, but well, he gets a seven. Or I'll try. Okay, take d4, you're winning. He didn't didn't trust me. Surprisingly, I will I will say it was very surprising to me. Yeah. It was a weird game though. It felt like I was fine, then I blundered g6. Then it felt that lost, then it felt fine, then it felt lost. Check in here. Good game. Oh, now he's promoting two queens. Now he's being nasty guy. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let me at least promote the queen. Uh, it doesn't even take it. He's just disrespecting me. Finish one. Nasty guy. Um. Oh, I already was worse before actually blundering g6. Queen d5 was the best move. <laughs> I should play d5 immediately. I should play d5 instead of d6. So it's more forcing. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm really not in the mood to read that long. Sorry, Joseph. Yeah, I should have taken a fate. I know why he didn't take an exchange. He played rookie one, then I got some chance, but I lost. So, I uh, should have just taken. Nope. Should have I played bishop queen e8? Nope. Should have played c5? No. We should have played. Yeah, I needed a dog there to play you know. A duck would have saved me, but but it's not duck chess, unfortunately. Okay, let's go down six. Score theory, exactly, very true. <laughs> oh, karma! He plays your opening, the Karo Khan. I googled it, yeah, but didn't do anything else. Instead of uh, after googling. Ugh. I have an engine which I program by myself and it would start to beat me as I'm working on it. <laughs> nice. Okay, at least I wouldn't personally take, but I'm not stockfish. I'm his son. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't even read the preview or anything. Just googled it, seeing a lot of reviews. That's all. I'm too lazy to do anything. So sometimes a problem. C1. Ugh. A3. Check. Okay. Then he'll, he should go back at least. I hope he wouldn't, because then I would win a piece, but he did. 
It would just do the version. <laughs> it is also a great possibility, Pusham. Nice, nice idea. Very creative. Maybe Karma, you also can do that. He takes with the bishop. Plays weirdly. And the idea is this Quincy one wow. Takes Quincy one and I get ninety one at the end. Don't I? Ah wow, that is steep. All right. So C D Quincy one, C D Quincy one, Rook C one, Rook C one, Knight D one. He gets Rook A one. I take. He gets here. This he gets Rook D eight. Takes. He gets Rook D three. No, he gets Rook D one, and then this he gets Rook D three. Two thousand E law or two thousand uh, online. All right. So an eight five. Yeah, but isn't this a he played rook a c right? Yeah, isn't this an exchange? It is nice. This has an e law. Okay. Whoo. Yeah, many people want books. Well. Hmm. Really not a gigantic fan of books. Uh, but did you read Dvoretsky's Endgame Manual? a book I guess but I'm not sure if it will help uh, to pursue your goal <laughs> of, uh, of uh, to pursue his goal uh, of 2000 ELO <laughs> for you it may work but <laughs> and so rook cd1 wait I play rook e7 what's wrong with me wait What's wrong with him? Now we get rookie seven. <laughs> okay, so there is something definitely wrong with, uh, wrong with both of us. That I can say for sure. Ah, nice, Karma. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I didn't know that that is the side effect it gives, but nice. If it does. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, did you... Did you read Voreski's Endgame Manual on my system? Now, Mubot would play worse. Mubot is bad chess player. Is it? If number two, I take the pawn instead of protecting. Ay ay ay, ay ay ay. Okay. I mean, all the positions, sure. Nice, Joseph. All the positions when they are, then yeah. But like the ideas of the positions are super easy to memorize, I think. The only endgame I struggle is rook and uh, rook versus rook and bishop. It's like the endgame I can never seem to understand. I'm not even so six. GG's. That's like the only endgame I really. Uh, my I run out of brain cells. 
when I play it or even watch it, it watch it. Like only thing I know about Chuk and Bishop Endgame is that is that this is a draw, no matter who plays. Why just wait? Say here, why just wait? If I go there, you go here, there, there, and something like that. Some who can games, yeah. Very true. Oh, I played 2 nil nil. Nice. Yeah, d4 was a blunder. I got knight f5 and I just won simply. But most of the other endgames are relatively simple. Now, guys, uh. Let's tell this game in Skin Master Puff Morris. 6 4 3 for him and 4 nil 4 for me. So, from the opening, yeah. Knight g6 isn't. No, bishop b7 isn't how you play. You're supposed to take d4. Bishop b7, this is this. Knight f6. But everybody, I think mostly everybody struggles with rook versus rook and bishop. It's the hardest end game ever, I think. This f was a mistake, you had to take then f4, so then after bishop f4, you'd get rook f2, then b3 and f5, and something like that. Nice, Yosef. The reason I managed to... I see it was worse here to play f5, and then you'd get a better position, because after rook a6, I just managed to simply simplify, uh, and then equalize. Actually, a d, f, e, and then what? Ah, and then queen d5 with c5 ideas, I would be slightly better, okay. This is easy, it was very equal for a long amount of time. Then king of 3 was a blunder from him here, go for king of 2. Then rook d5 with equality, I had to take with my pawn. So then I have two connected passes, but yeah, it was already some trouble, it was hard to make best moves, he had to go for rook d5, and rook d2. This is this, I should have went king f3, rook h4, rook f4, rook f5, I protect this one, then I start pushing, then I win. This, he had to go for rook f2. And here I'd go for rook g1, and here I made a uh, blunder, yeah. Here you'd go for rook b1, and instead of wasting tempo on rook b8, I had h2 first, then rook b8, then rook b7, it would be a win, because after rook b8, king c5, and it was like tempo in tempo, and then I had to dirty flag him, and I wanted him can master path Morris. I mean, Yusuf, maybe we can do it tomorrow. What do you think? So today we start this Evans Gambit thing, and then tomorrow we analyze your game. Because tomorrow, after Title Tuesday, I'm not planning to work on Evans Gambit. So maybe instead of Dark Chess, we can analyze your game. What do you think? Thanks, say it's Pepper. Long time to see. How are you doing? What's up? How are you? You too. Have a great day. Download Roll. It's already dark outside at this time. Gosh. I remember times when it was like 10.30 and it was still light outside. Yeah, that is very important, Fefe. Nice. It is very nice. Yeah, so bishop e7 is particularly an inaccuracy. I should go bishop f5 with the idea of knight f5 castle. Takes, takes this. b5, bishop b3. This, knight c3, knight b3, a, b, uh, bishop b7 with equality, more or less. This, 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 this. This was a mistake. Yeah, that's a mistake. You should have played c3. And then just with these two great knights, try to try to pretty much uh, suffocate my pieces. f4, this, this. Then you will go knight g3, this, this, this. Uh, knight h5 and you'll be much better. I have no space at all. Ah, okay. This, this, that bishop b6 was a mistake for me. I should have went b5, right? Yeah, b5. Uh, bishop b3, a5, c3, a4, bishop d5, knight g7. f4, a, uh, knight d5 takes this, and then after f5 it would be slightly better, but it still would be unclear. f4 was a mistake back for me. We should have taken, uh, taken f4, he would be better. Bishop c4 was a mistake back from me. I had to go for b5. Oops. I'd go for b5. 
5 and then after bishop b3 go queen d4 queen d4 knight d4 uh rook f bishop e6 for example this rook f2 b4 with equality rook f2 this 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 yes he got this advantage and he held on to it until okay there was a mistake i should have went rook e8 after rook e6 wasn't brilliant it was a good move and after here i go here just so i sack a pawn but then, like, I get knight f6, oh, no, I get f5, this, this, with some compensation. Okay. Rook a6 was a mistake from him. He just had f5, very nice move. Then I take the pawn, but he takes the pawn as well. I should move my knight, then this, this, fe93, this, knight g4, e5. Q would be much better. My knight is stuck, and it's very bad. And by myself, that is nice. That is nice, Joseph. Yeah, then rook e6, this is this. This, this, queen c6, that, here, here, here. Okay, there was an inaccuracy. You see it so far. See what? See what, Cinder? I recommendations of Bogdorsky, Sandy Manuel, and my system. I show him an h3, then king h2. So he escapes with his king. This, this, e5. Oh, wait, not with bishop, but e5. This, 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 with equality. I train 5 6 hours a day. Now, in b3, queen d3 was a mistake from him. Yeah, I don't understand how I'm plus 2 here. You should have went for ed. The idea is if rook a1, that's a blunder. Because he takes, takes de this this and then he brings in his knight and he's like winning my knight is dead here um my own system by lasker i'm not sure that's even a book i don't have a coach Jennifer. queen d3 okay that was a mistake yeah i was just fine with simplifying computer says i should have taken and go queen d5 this knight g6 rook f1 rook 8 all right i attack the pawn and then i win it and i'm better okay queen d4 and uh, then after queen d4, it was it was very equal for a long amount of time. I had little time, but so did he. Then this is this. Then I started breaking through a little bit. g6, this, this. Okay, yeah, g4 was an inaccuracy. I think he missed rook f1. Should have just skin of c a draw. I'm the one who is risking. Rook of one, this, this, that was a blunder. Should have king of two. Here, here, with a draw. Rook g4 was a blunder back from here. Should have went a g. King g, king of two. Here, here, f5. Rook d, king of six. I'm just winning. That's good stuff. Sometimes, I mean, it is cool that you're concentrated for four or five hours and all, but um, but sometimes it can be crazy. What do you mean checkmating for? There was no mating for what? What like, do you mean by checking? Yeah, look, you see what's a mistake? Here I'm just went king e5. King e here. King e5 was stronger. That was slight inaccuracy. King of three f5 here 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 f4 i'm just completely winning uh king d4 king d4 this 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 that was a it was fine now it was a mistake though king h4 uh it was actually a blunder i had a simple win with king of three king of three rook g6 here here rook f4 Rook h6, h4, king b5, king g3, and I'm winning. King b5, this was a mistake. Should have pushed f5, and I still would have chances. Rook h2 was a mistake. Should have went for rook f2. And then this is, and then it's a crazy pawn race. Uh, but after b4, oh, after b4, it should be equal. Uh, king g4. In c4, h4, yes, I was pushing. That was a big blunder. I was scared of not catching his pawn, but yeah, I just had a nice move. He, rook g1, and if he goes b5, I just get h3. 
rook d2, f5, king d3, king d3, that's winning. Uh, b5, this, this. Ah! It was okay. h3, this, that was, b7 was a blunder. She won rook b1. Uh, h2, king b4. f5, c4. f5, f4, c5. This, this. Crazy, crazy pawn race. b7, f2. Here, rook e1. c8, this, this. f1, queen g4. King of 2, queen of 5, we say draw. Crazy pawn race. Rook b8 was a huge land formation of went h2. The idea is that after rook b1, now you get rook b8. This, 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 h1. And I'm winning. And then after rook b8, king c5, he was tempo by tempo in time. King c7, and then I just had to dirty flag even on dream. Can master puff Morris. Good game. Nice, Joseph. Nice. Alright guys, now let's start, let's at least start, right, uh, working on the preparation to the thematical Evans Gambit. Was it in opening? No. Ah, that's my prep. Uh, where was it? Database? Where were we preparing for HAD? Study op- nope. Don't remember. Really don't remember. Trying to remember, but I don't remember. Oh gosh. So fireworks outside. I don't remember. Mm. <laughs> I literally forgot. Was it mega database? I don't remember where it was. Very bad memory. No, Yanver, be careful. It was Shinigamis, uh, Yosef. I don't remember, guys. Yes, computers, yeah. Uh, A? No. Mm. New base? I don't remember who was the... <laughs> yeah, be careful. It just create... But yeah, creating new database. For now? For now, I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna go to make a database, I think. And then start here. And then I will switch. No, it wasn't Karma. Karma was for Catalan and London. So guys, the Evans Gambit is played is uh it's not like it, it is played e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, Italian, right? And then white goes b4. It's a dubious move. Computer says you should take the pawn. Um so there are multiple moves how you can play it as black you can take you can go bishop b6 you can even go knight b4 and i think that's pretty much all so that's these are the main three moves also bishop b7 and d5 was played i guess we'll cover everything pretty much so bishop e 7 was also is one of the most popular moves in d5 Okay, d5 is a mistake. Uh, let's, I think, start today with d5 because it is like the probably gonna be that is chess based sinister. This is probably gonna be the shortest variation. So, today, just as we are understanding the ideas of Evans Gambit, I think d5 is nice to, to, to see how you play that. There was a game once played in 1870. Okay, we're not gonna analyze this game. Sorry about that. When, okay, b5 is just a mistake. Uh, delete remaining moves. But thank you so, so much for the following. Just stay here and have fun. Uh, okay, thank you, Cake. So, the main moves here are e takes d, that is the best move. Bishop d5, which is second best move, 
and b takes c. So these are the three best moves after d5. b takes c actually loses the advantage. It is a mistake because black takes d takes c. Let's check with reference. Uh, there was just one game recorded ever of b takes c. Uh, but Stockfish says there is queen to e2. Uh, yeah, I remember Evan's lines are really complex. It is super complex. It is like not complex, but it is like very computer lines where you suck a pawn somewhere or even more than a pawn and you should be fine. Um, so queen e2. Queen e2 is actually a bad move now that it's deeper. But knight a3. Knight c3 is also logical, right? And bishop b2. These are the three main moves after d takes c. After bishop b2, uh, let's start off with knight c3. After knight c3, well, black best move is to go bishop d4, h3. So they try to white tries to remove the bishop from g4. Uh, takes takes. I'm the first person who ever checks this position with engine because nobody is that crazy to check these stupid variations. Knight d4. The idea we attack the queen right and the pawn. On c2, he should come back. Then we go queen e7, rook b1, queen c5. Or instead of queen c5, we have a nicer move, I think, knight f6. The idea is if he goes rook b7, uh, we take take a castle, castle. We get the same after knight f6, castles, queen c5, rook b7, castles. So it's the same thing, pretty much. Nice, Joseph. So Queen d1, queen d7, rook b1, knight f6, rook b7, queen c5, castles, castles. Then uh, rook e1, queen h6 is better. This takes queen d3, rook fd8, and rook b2, a6. And I think we can cut the line here. Black gets a slightly better position right here because of better piece play, because of better knight on d4, because white has very weak pieces and pawns. And yeah, black has a very comfortable position. Their idea is rook, eight, rook d6, rook d8, and they are fine. That is how you play on knight c3. Black just plays bishop d4, h3 takes takes, and that is fine for black, but not so fine for white. Also, there is knight d3. We see the of attack in the pawn. We play knight f6 as black. Uh, the counter attack, the danger levels. If you're being attacked, you better attack even more. Knight c4, knight e4. The idea is if uh, he takes, that is a mistake because we take. And if he takes, we get queen d4. And this is like a royal fork. f2 hangs, e5 hangs, and a1 hangs. Um, nice, Joseph. So knight f6, knight c4. Knight e4, knight e5 is a big blunder. There is queen e2, but we, we won't go into that. So after knight f6, knight c4, knight e4, white should play castles, bishop g4, bishop b2, knight g5. Now knight c5 is safe to play. Takes, and then, yeah, that's what I was saying, some crazy, yeah, that is very true, Karmar. Uh, so queen e1, and then white sacks a piece, uh, but then they get a pawn. And then they lose a pawn, and black pawn sides castles. Black is slightly better. Okay, did somebody even understand what's going on? Well, okay, knight f6 understandable takes this, bishop g4 understandable, knight g5 trying to ruin pawn structure takes, takes. Queen e1 only move, knight f3 this, bishop e6 this, queen d7. Queen g5. You know what? We shouldn't even focus on bc, right? Okay, uh, 10 minutes, uh, especially, yeah, it is. I, I just delete the line because pretty much these are the best three moves to play as black, even for bishop e7, knight b4, bishop b6, and bishop b4, right? And then d5 is a mistake, and now we are looking on how to refute it as white. And what's the point of going to a bad line? So the best move for white is e takes d. Uh, okay, black is forced to take, otherwise they lose a piece. Uh, then we castle. The idea, now black has three moves. Knight f6, knight e4, and knight d5. 
five. Say if black takes the pawn on d5, we take the knight, then queen to d5, knight c3, and it's somewhat like in Scandinavian. Uh, no, uh, it's Peshak, the pawn in Ukrainian, but Peshka in pawn in Russia is pawn in Russian, so true. But yeah, queen d6, it's somewhat in Scandinavian, black wastes a lot of time. Then we get knight e4, this, we take, take. We get rook e5, c4, and then white is slightly better. I mean, they are a pawn up, perhaps after c4, instead of c4, we have d3. And yeah, we have an extra pawn, we should be pretty much better. So knight d5, we simply take, knight c3, rook e1, we trade, and we are slightly better. After, instead of knight d5, there is also knight e7. We are going knight c3 there. If uh, castles, then we go knight e5, knight d5, knight d5 here, d4, bishop e7. Bishop b7, the material is equal, uh, but white gets white gets good play, this, very nice trap that after knight c3, a huge blunder, white simply takes f7, and then gets queen f3, maybe one bishop f7, this, and then brilliant rook e1, so the idea if the bishop moves, for example here there is rook e8, and if bishop e6, if bishop e6, uh, then we simply take queen e6, bishop f6, bishop b2, and white is completely winning here. So, knight c3 is a blunder, so black should play bishop e6, that is the best move by Stockfish. Rook b7, knight c3, uh, we go queen e1, this takes, takes, then we go knight e3, queen c5, rook b3, knight b5, and then somehow white lost their advantage because Stockfish is very bad at chess. So you don't play you don't play Queen E1. Queen E1 is a bad move. You play Queen of Three. Then the idea is if Bishop C4 you simply take this this Rook C7 you are ending up you end up a pawn up in slightly better position. And if instead of Bishop C4 Black plays Queen D4, we play Bishop B2. This takes Queen F5 Bishop Queen G3 threatening mate. Bishop F6 here Queen G5. Uh, queen g5 this, this we win a pawn and we are slightly better. That's fine, that's fine, it was just didn't very deep. Did you actually the stockfish BS what? English is bad, sorry. So yeah, the idea after 97 we simply develop as white, right? This we take a pawn. Then we take control over the center. We play rook b1. Then if he goes, if he goes knight c3, it's a big mistake. We get knight f7. This queen f3. This is, and then he just doesn't survive. After bishop e6, we simply take bishop e2. That's winning. So he should go bishop e6, sacrifice a pawn. We sacrifice it back, but then we get this rook c7, and we are slightly better. That's it for knight e7. Uh, the best move, no, actually, 97 is the best move. Let's make it the main line. Another move there is in this position for black is knight to f6. Uh, we simply take knight e5. Um, castles, we go d4. Probably I know it, but I don't remember it because I played a zillion games. Um, so knight f d5, we win a tempo by c4, then we get knight c3, bishop e6 here, bishop, uh, bishop e3. How? It's literally saying it's the best move, and then it changes its mind. We go d5, bishop f5, queen f3, queen c8, bishop a3, and then we have a slightly better position, we have very, look at our pieces, this white, and black pieces are pretty weak. So we are slightly better. Say a5, rook a1, uh, bishop d6, c5, takes knight e4, we sack a pawn for initiative, knight d5, bishop e5, rook e5, this, this, and we are slightly better with good compensation. Uh, okay. So knight before this, this, knight, is, knight f6, we simply take e5, and... And yeah, I'm not gonna look into bishop d5 because it's not the best move. And pretty much, 
this, this. Okay, if black takes knight bd5 immediately, we get d4, bishop e7, bishop b5. And the idea of bishop b5 is that we do this, then we take, and then we take a8. Then we have one, two pawns and a rook for a knight and a bishop. We play c4, this queen e2, preventing castellan. Uh, knight c8, we go bishop a3, still preventing castellan. If he go, if he castles, we go bishop e7, rook e8, this, this here, and we are better. We have nice center, active pieces, and we should be pretty good. So let me save that. Evans Gambit. So guys, I think that is pretty okay for today. What do you think? We check d5, how to refute it as white. We simply take, then castles. Then if he takes, we take, and then it's like in Scandinavian. Uh, we get a slightly better position because we get like bishop e3, bishop e3 or something like that. And if he goes knight f6, we simply take, get d4, and get a good center, much active pieces, and we are slightly better right here. Um, and if after knight f6, instead of castles, we go knight bd5, we go d4. And then there is a nice line where we sack a knight and a bishop for rook and two pawns, and then we get up a slightly better, better position. And if he goes knight e7, we go knight c3, takes, takes, we're gonna get d4. And if bishop e6, we take, and we end up a pawn up. So I think that's it, guys. Hopefully you found something interesting. So, of course, d5 isn't good for black. Main moves are bishop e7, bishop b4, bishop b6, and knight b4. So, but d5, we found a way how to refute it as white. So I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I hopefully, I hopefully, guys. I'm sorry, maybe it was too quick, but I tried as f as much as I could to. Uh, I was multitasking, guys. Uh, I, I hope, guys, you understood just at least a thing or two. I, I understand I was too quick, but I tried to slow down. But I really hope you found out something useful. Um, so yeah, everybody, I'm gonna end the stream. Thanks a lot to Buff Morris for a shout out. Good game to him. Uh, yeah, that is true. That is true, Yanver. Thanks to Chess Guy with Radio Fighter of 51. And thanks for everybody for watching. That is true. To discipline, yeah. Thanks, guys. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow next to be, I'm not sure. Not soon, I think. <laughs> tomorrow, title Tuesday, so no Evans, but at Wednesday will continue with perhaps Bishop E7 on move 4. Uh, did you hear about the material? Cool. So yeah, everybody, I really hope you had fun. Thanks to everybody for watching. Bye Y Higgs, bye Joseph, bye Yanver, bye Crash Dummy Rich, bye Manuspers, bye Karmar, bye Totally Juvenile, by Push and Baby, by Sinister, by Bye 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 bye. Wanted for Blunder. Thanks everybody for the follows. Um yeah, pretty much everybody by Janver, by Psinderbest, by everybody by Hates Fefe, by everybody who was here. I hope you'll have a great rest of your day by Bobby Fisher. Hope you'll have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to join the Discord to know some well stream and well stream. Uh, you unless my game. Okay, yeah. Okay, Josef. So take care, everybody. I'm not sure who I'm gonna rate. Uh, most likely gonna rate, rate Vitti back. He rated me yesterday, gonna rate him today. Take care everybody, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care everybody and bye bye!